Good morning, fellow boaters. I was having a conversation with my daughter the other day. She is a physician. And I was poking fun at her profession because uh, they rename simple things. You know, tibia, femur, humerus, whatever. Just call it a bone. And uh, we were having a, a fun conversation about that. And then it occurred to me that as boaters, we do the same dang thing. We have all these parts and pieces on our boats, and uh, we call them very strange names. So I know that a lot of you, this is old hat, and you're probably gonna be bored by this video, but there are an awful lot of you that are out there that are new to this game uh, because of COVID, you know, maybe you just got a boat for the first time or whatever, and you really are pretty clueless as to what all this stuff is called. So we're gonna start with the basics first. Uh, directional position on a boat is uh, one of the most important things you need to know because you can't say left or right because that's predicated on what direction you're facing. So as you're facing the bow, the left side of the boat is always called port, the right side of the boat is always called starboard. That way no matter where you are on the boat, everybody knows port and starboard. I remember this quite easily because port has four letters in it, so does left. Silly, I know, but it helps me remember it. The next thing you have to remember is the front of the boat, the pointy end, and the back of the boat, the not pointy end. Uh, the front of the boat is called the bow. The back of the boat is called the aft or the stern. Uh, one way to remember this is the bow is the one that goes down in the waves. It bows to the waves. Cheesy, sorry. The way I remember it is think of the female body. Bow, aft. That'll help you remember that. Now we're gonna talk about freeboard. Freeboard is important to know, uh, especially when you get further on in this and you begin to work on your anchoring skills. Freeboard, I'm gonna turn the camera. Freeboard is the distance from the water line to the top of the first deck, midship, middle of the boat. That means that you're looking at the distance from the water line to right here. That's your freeboard. Ours is five foot. Uh, that will be important when you anchor. The other thing you need to know, these little things right here are called cleats. There's cleats on the dock as well. And these are dock lines that attach the boat to the dock with the cleats. They're not called ropes, they're called dock lines. And of course we've already discussed, these are fenders they're not bumpers. When you step on the boat, the first thing you're going to see when you step on the boat is the transom. The transom is basically where the living part of the boat stops. It's the end of the boat. If you have an outboard, it is the uh, piece in the back, the solid piece in the back that you hang your outboards from. We have inboards, so we don't have that. But this is the transom right here. Gunnels are the path that you walk on the side of the boat to get to and from the bow. And I'll show you an example of that. Gunnels that are usually spelled gunwale but it's pronounced gunnel, is this area right here where my feet are. It's this skinny area right here that runs along the side of the boat where you can walk. And it's reinforced uh, just for that purpose. While we're up on the bow, we're going to talk about the anchor system. This is called a windlass. This is the motor that makes the anchor go up and down. And these are the controls for that motor. We've got it up and we got it down. We have about 150 feet of what we call road. 25 feet of it is chain. You can see the chain right there. Um, we also have a safety hook right here in case the windlass breaks free, our anchor doesn't fall to the ground. Um, and we have about 125 feet of a road. Again, it's not rope. In the case of an anchor, it's called road. The last thing we're gonna chat about while we're outside the boat are stanchions. Stanchions are these things right here that hold your railing to the gunnel. 
Once you go inside the boat, you are, in, in our particular model, you are in what we call the cockpit. The cockpit is the open area surrounding the helm. The helm is where all the magic happens. That's where the captain controls the boat, drives the boat, pilots the boat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in some boats, there is what we call a flybridge, which means that the helm and the cockpit are on the second level, if you will, of the boat. Our boat's not that big, so ours is all just in one area. This right here is called a hatch. The difference between a hatch and a portal is that a hatch is an, is an opening that you walk through. A portal is just a window in the boat. As we go downstairs, we are now in what we call the salon of the boat. Uh, this is not a bathroom. It's called a head. Why? I don't know. This is not called a kitchen. It's called a galley. This, in our boat, again, because of the size of our boat, this is called the forward berth or the V-berth. It is called a V-berth because of the shape. It's in the bow of the boat, so it forms a V. Um, if you had a larger boat where this was partitioned off, you had a wall here with a door going into here, it would be referred to as a stateroom, uh, usually the master stateroom. Behind me, you will see what we call the aft berth. Again, if this was a, a separate room with its own door, it would also be called a stateroom. If it was for your guests, it would also be called a VIP room for very important people. And uh, this particular model, the bed pulls out, so we can sleep people back here if we want. And I see you found my booze stash. Okay, guys, well, that is the end of our little clip on weird boating terminology. I hope this has helped those of you who are new to this game. Uh, it took me a long time to learn all these terms, and uh, I hope I shared some of my hard-earned knowledge with all of you. Uh, if you feel inclined, check out my webpage, ReluctantVoter.com. You get some nice-looking swag on that page, and there's also useful hip tips and, and tricks for the new boater and the seasoned boater. Happy boating!